Hello everyone, welcome to Cortaflick. My name is Chad Bradle and today I just wanted to show you a little upgrade you can do to your $6 LED panel, light panel. Um, yeah, didn't take long for an upgrade already, but I wanted to show you how to connect the four LEDs that we were originally using with the beam and this will almost, in a, in a sense, double your light output because you're adding this directional beam with kind of like this glowing filling beam. So it really helps out with uh, giving you better light coverage. So just uh, show you what you need to do in order to do that. First, make sure there's no batteries in it because, well, for obvious reasons, um, take off your plastic panel as I kind of showed you in the previous video, which you can uh, check out the link right there. And yeah, here we go. So you're gonna need a soldering iron and that is it. You shouldn't even need any solder. You should just need a soldering iron. So we're gonna open it up. And on the inside, essentially all we're doing is taking this wire right here that leads up to the first switch at the bottom, this little, uh, little solder point here. We're gonna move this wire to the last point. And here we go. Unsolder it. Easy as that. And now I'm going to just kind of set it on top. There we go. And now it's soldered on. Make sure it's not touching the wire below it. And you're all set. Put this right back on. Pop the batteries in. It doesn't turn on like it should, or exactly what it should do is not turn on because we switched it and there we go now we have the beam with the four LEDs and now you have just upgraded your six dollar LED lights to give uh, more power all right and let's check out the demonstration uh, shot for you to see So there you go, I was effectively able to modify each one of these, it helped produce more light, and it didn't cost us anything. Also, something I might end up doing is just not even putting my lid on, since this housing is strong enough, it doesn't really need it too much. And uh, just uh, to show you what I kind of did is, I took like one of these little dinky tripods, and put a little hole in it, and a wing nut, and just threaded it right on so that I can just sit it on a surface and angle it any direction I want just for the time being. I suppose uh, with that maybe you could even attach it to the top of a tripod or something. But yeah, hope you like this little upgrade video and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.